This is the city of Los Angeles, California. The number of homeless people in Los Angeles has grown by 33% over the past four years. Every night, nearly 60,000 Los Angeles County residents are homeless. A total of 85% of Los Angeles' homeless people are adults without children. 70% are male and 44% are black, even though they only account for 8% of Los Angeles residents. In 1976, city officials established Skid Row as an unofficial containment zone where homeless people, shelters, and services would be tolerated. Skid Row is a 250-acre area located only one mile east of City Hall, although it is no longer as tightly contained as it used to be. Homeless people are now seen in nearly all neighborhoods and business districts throughout Los Angeles. In an effort to help combat the homeless crisis, members of the community volunteer to help feed and clothe those in need. Humanitarian Maxine Seeley started the organization Sharing Love with Others to help give back to the community. My name is Maxine Seeley from Sharing Love with Others. And we have been on Skid Row since uh, March 2019. And we haven't missed a Saturday. Every Saturday, rain or shine, we are here on Skid Row. Her goal was to help the less fortunate, specifically the homeless on Skid Row. Through her organization, they are able to provide 400 meals weekly, plus water, hygiene kits, clothing, and much more. The group of volunteers distribute food every Saturday to Skid Row, an area with thousands of homeless. So we gave the community hand sanitizer, gloves, masks, we came out in full force to help the community doing all this. We continue, rain or shine, we are on Skid Row. Since the outbreak of the pandemic, sharing love with others has provided essential items such as masks, gloves, hand sanitizer, and other health-related resources. It's important for me to volunteer today because it helps, it helps me feel like I'm a part of something and something greater that could happen in the future for those who are on the street and those who are less fortunate than I am. The City of Los Angeles is coming together to fight against the city's homelessness crisis through the use of nonprofit organizations and housing reforms. Since the pandemic, there have been many ordinances passed creating the conversion of 380 hotels into shelters for the homeless, getting people off the streets and into comfy beds. The County of Los Angeles calls it Project Room Key. The project is a collaborative effort by the state and county to ensure hotel rooms for vulnerable people experiencing homelessness. People experiencing homelessness are more at risk than they are a risk, says Bobby Watts, CEO of the National Healthcare for the Homeless Council. They are more vulnerable because they have weaker immune systems due to the chronic stress of not having a stable place to live, of, of not having good nutrition, of having more underlying health conditions, and they are in contact in congregate settings more frequently. So they're more vulnerable and they are more likely to be exposed. This is a serious public health problem and we have to treat it as such. California has more people living on the streets than any other city in the nation. The need to get people off the streets and indoors is more crucial than ever because of the pandemic. The state is giving top priority to homeless people who have tested positive for COVID-19 but don't require hospitalization and those who have been in close contact with an infected person. The state also has the option to buy the hotels and motels after the pandemic is over to continue using them as shelters. Governor Gavin Newsom, standing in front of a hotel that has already been converted into a shelter, said 7,000 rooms have already been secured with the goal of getting 8,000 more into more locations. What we want to do is relieve the stress in our shelter system uh, so we can separate individuals uh, and ultimately, again, relieve the impact in our medical de care delivery system if left unaddressed. You can make an impact and fight against homelessness by donating and volunteering at your local organizations.